What's up everyone, Takedown here, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to be talking about some of the top WWE tag teams. Let's get right into this. So for this video, I'm going to be mentioning some of my favorite WWE tag teams from past and present. Most are from the Attitude Era, but there is some that are currently in the WWE as well. So up first on my list is the New Day. The New Day, I'm a huge fan of it. Where they debuted in 2014 and they are currently a tag team in the WWE. However, I feel like whenever they first debuted, they were hit or miss. They were more like a uh, church group kind of-esque thing. Um, they were still okay in the ring. It's just they weren't really that good. It just wasn't that great of a gimmick at first when they debuted. Until it progressed to what it currently is. And that is basically a party-going trio who are doing great things in the ring. They've won championships. They've done great things. They have the fan on board. They're selling a ton of WWE merch, which is obviously what the WWE wants. Whenever this team first debuted, it wasn't really a team that anybody felt like they were going to continue and be a success in the WWE. But how they've progressed over the few years that they've been in the WWE, they've done great things. They've only been in the WWE for five years, but they've been a two-time Raw Tag Team Champions which they are the longest reigning Raw Tag Team Champions of all time in WWE history, which is amazing. Uh, that is a combined uh, total for their reigns. And they are also a five-time SmackDown Tag Team Champion as well. So they do great things. They win the championships. The three of them are awesome. The fans absolutely love them, and that's why I'm 100% on board with them. Again, at first when they debuted, not so much. Now I'm a huge fan of them. Next is the Hardy Boys. They debuted in 2002, and they quickly became an amazing tag team in the tag team division, doing extreme things in the ring, and of course with the TLC matches with the Dudley Boys and Edge and Christian, they did great things in the ring. They were always extreme and did shocking things whenever they had their matches, which was awesome to see. In their career, they became a seven-time tag team champion, becoming a WWE Tag Team Champion, a Raw Tag Team Champion, and a SmackDown Tag Team Champion whenever they returned to the WWE in 2016. Currently, Jeff Hardy is still out as the time I'm recording this video, but hopefully they return. I would like to see them in a WWE ring again before they were to retire or leave the company, but they're definitely a great team to watch whenever they're in the ring working together. They do great things and put on great matches. Next up is the Dudley Boys. They debuted in 1996. And they actually went into the Hall of Fame for the WWE in 2018. Over their career, they became a nine-time tag team champion. I'm not going to include WCW for this video whenever it comes to the championship reigns. But a nine-time champion within the WWE for the tag team division. They did great things in the ring. They had the great matches with the Hardy Boys and Edge and Christian back in the early 2000s in the Attitude Era. They were awesome to see in the ring, and they still put on great matches whenever they do make special appearances in the indie scenes, which is awesome to see. Next up is the Hart Foundation, who debuted in 1995. They didn't last too long. They, I think they disbanded in uh, 1992, if I remember correctly. But they became a two-time tag team champ with their shorts reign as a tag team in the WWE. Uh, they were inducted into the 2019 Hall of Fame after Jim Neihard did pass away the summer prior. So it is nice that they honored Jim Neidhart. Of course, Bret Hart was already, already in the Hall of Fame, but to honor him with the Hart Foundation was really nice to see. And they're one of my favorite tag teams. Of course, I am Canadian, so I have to cheer for them. They're just awesome to see back in the day. Next for me is the Usos, who debuted in 2009. And that means they've been a tag team within the WWE for 10 years. Now they never really tried to split. I remember at a time there was an injury with one of them and the other one was trying to go for the Intercontinental Championship. Nothing really happened there. They tried to fizzle out, but not too long ago they ended up signing a long contract, I think a five-year contract with WWE. Now they do have legal issues. One keeps getting DUIs unfortunately, so it is going to be interesting to see what happens going forward, but I really expect them to make an in-ring debut or sorry, return and start doing great things in the ring once again, and start winning championships and dominating the tag team division in the WWE. While they're a tag team in the WWE within their 10 years, they were a six-time tag team champion, spanning mostly for the SmackDown Tag Team Championship, but also the WWE Tag Team Championship whenever it was the 
copper-plated belts, and there was only one tag team championship in the WWE. Next is Edge and Christian, who I've always been a huge fan of. I've always loved Edge solo. I've always loved Christian solo, and their tag teams that they did was phenomenal. Of course, again, mentioning it once again in this video, the matches they put on with the Hardy Boys and the Dudley Boys was phenomenal, and I absolutely love to see that back in the Attitude Era. They debuted in 1998 as a tag team, and they were just awesome to see the great matches, the chemistry the two of them had because they were lifelong friends. In the course of the WWE, they were a seven-time tag team champion, was which was great to see, and both of them individually had great success in the WWE alone in their solo careers, but their tag team was definitely exciting to see. Next up is APA, who I was a huge fan of. It was kindly odd at first whenever I seen them tagging up, but I'm a huge fan of them. I think they do great things, and I definitely see them going in the Hall of Fame in the future as a tag team. They debuted in 1998, and they only won three tag team championships while they were in the WWE together as a tag team, but they did great things. They put on great matches. They were a great team that was very aggressive in the ring. Their drinking gimmicks, their protection agency gimmicks were awesome, and of course, smoking and playing cards backstage was awesome during the Attitude Era. And the last tag team I'm going to be mentioning for this video is the Brothers of Destruction. They debuted in 1998 as a tag team, and they've been here and there uh, returning as a tag team and having matches, and they currently sometimes do spontaneous matches, even currently in the WWE, whenever they decide and the match is right and the pay-per-view is right, the event is right for them. They will make appearances as the Brothers of Destruction. The last match they had was against DX, Triple H and Shawn Michaels, who I didn't want to mention on this video DX because... They are more of a faction in my mind, which I think I'm going to do a top factions in the WWE in the future. But the Brothers of Destruction, in the time that they were a tag team, they were two-time tag team champions. Of course, Undertaker and Kane has had solo success in the WWE. Undertaker has a huge, huge resume within the WWE. The longest WrestleMania streak of all time. Of course, multiple, multiple championships and the longevity he's had in the WWE almost 30 years in the ring is phenomenal. No pun intended because he is the phenom. And King has had success in the WWE as well. So these are my top tag teams in the WWE history. The top tag teams that I've always been a fan of. Now there is some more like Los Guerreros and a few others that I was going to mention, but I just decided not to. Um, all of these tag teams that I mentioned in this video, I feel will one day be in the Hall of Fame if they aren't already. Of course, the Dudley Boys and Hart Foundation are already in the tag in the Hall of Fame as a tag team. And of course, Ron Simmons is solo in the Hall of Fame, but I feel like he'll go in with APA. Uh, Edge is in the Hall of Fame with himself, but I feel like Edge and Christian will be one day in the Hall of Fame. And of course, the Usos in the New Day, they're on the path to be in the Hall of Fame as the tag teams they're part of in the future. So that's exciting to see, but I definitely feel like everybody that I mentioned in this video <clears throat> will one day be inducted into the Hall of Fame if they aren't already there. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what are your favorite tag teams of all time. I'm assuming there's going to be a few that I missed, but these are the top ones in my opinion that I wanted to mention because... These were awesome tag teams to see anytime that they're in the ring. And the Hardy Boys, the New Day, and the Usos currently still hopefully are going to be in the WWE longer. And I'd like to see what they do in the future. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave this here. Please take care. Peace.